Hi friends! I wanted to wish you all a happy Halloween. I am in my Halloween costume today. Today I decided to do a run through of my hair and makeup with my costume and everything. I'm a sexy bumblebee because it was one of the least awful plus size costumes that I could find. I know normally I do like to kind of put my own together because it's cheaper and more fun and you're more original because nobody's going to look exactly like you. But this year I don't have any really big Halloween plans and I just wanted something different from what I've done the last couple years because I've just kind of had the same dress thing that I've worn. But anyway, I'm not going to stand up and show you the whole thing because it's not very flattering and I haven't really stood up and shown you all of me yet. And so yeah, I don't really feel comfortable doing that, but I will put a link to this costume in the down bar so you can see the whole effect. But it's just like a little dress thing, got some little bows, got some yellow and black stripes. And then on the skirt, it's just like some tulle with a little yellow kind of border and it's got a little flower on it too. Also I'm wearing black leggings with my costume because the skirt is a little bit short and I just wouldn't really feel that comfortable just wearing the skirt. Also, I'm kind of tall, so the skirt's extra short on me, so just for a little bit extra coverage to make me feel a bit more comfortable, and I think they look cute with it anyway. So yeah, here's my Halloween outfit, and here are my antenna up here as well. I also did like a run through of my hair and makeup. For my makeup, I just did kind of like the generic sexy Halloween look with like the smoky eye and some really light pink lips, just a little bit of light pink blush. For my actual look tomorrow, I'll probably put some darker colors on the eyes because this is more of like a really kind of a wearable smoky eye. Like it doesn't really look that Halloween. I actually found it kind of hard to build up dark colors on my eyes because I'm so used to blending things out so they're not super dark so they're more wearable for me. For the actual colors I used on my eye look, I used just a bunch of like grays and silvers and blacks. I used this Sally Beauty Supply color, Sally Girl brand color. I don't think it has a name, just one of their little cheap baked eyeshadows. I used some colors from this Rimmel Dark Angel Trio. I obviously didn't use the purple, but that color is just like a sparkly silver and that is kind of a black with some silver sparkles to it. And I used Max Carbon that I got from the Venomous Villains collection. So yeah, I just kind of blended those all together. Probably use some more of the darker colors tomorrow, like I said. And for my eyes, I have black liquid liner on the top just because I always like to do that for like a sexy kind of look. And then just some black pencil liner on the bottom just because that's what I like. My eyelashes aren't quite as fierce as I would like. I don't really wear false lashes, so I'm probably not gonna rock those tomorrow. But I think I can build up the mascara a little bit more to make my lashes a little bit more intense. On my lips, I have just a light pink lip liner and then Viva Glam Gaga lipstick and then just a light pink lip gloss for like a sexy Halloween look. Any kind of like a really light pink lip would work really well for that. For my hair, I just curled it like I always do, except I used a lot more hairspray and tried to make it bigger. I don't really think it's any bigger than it was last week, but that's how that happened. Also, usually when I do the curl thing, I like run my fingers through my hair so the curls kind of get a little bit more separated and look a little bit more natural. But today I didn't do that because it's not really supposed to look natural. It's supposed to look like Halloween. It's supposed to be really intense and really over the top. Like I said, I'll actually be dressing up tomorrow. I'm going to the Rocky Horror Picture Show here at my university with some of my friends. That's something I do every year. It's kind of like my Halloween tradition here at school. And it's really fun. It's a really good time. And I don't even know when trick-or-treating happens here this year. And I don't know if people are actually going to be trick-or-treating where I live now. Because I live in a different apartment than I did last fall. So I don't know if I'm going to have trick-or-treaters. I don't know what to expect about that. I've never actually had trick-or-treaters. So to those of you with kids out there, are you guys trick-or-treating? And when is trick-or-treat where you guys live? Also, I wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that I got for Halloween this year. I know most of it was candy, so it's really not that exciting. But where I work, I know most of you know I'm a graduate assistant, and there are a lot of other graduate assistants there in that office and student workers. So the people who work there give us candy and stuff a lot. So we got several bags of candy for Halloween. One thing I got that I thought was weird was this bag, which you can't tell what it is, but it's candy corn and peanuts, like, together. And I tried it. And it's really interesting. I don't really know how I feel about it. It's like the salty and sweet together, so it's really interesting. So have you guys ever heard of candy corn and peanuts like together like that? I thought it was it was really interesting. I'm really glad I got to try it. Not sure if it's really my thing, but it was interesting. And I also got this cool Halloween pencil. Pretty neat. Got ghosts and spiders and bats and jack-o'-lanterns and a black cat and stuff like that and an orange eraser 
really kind of fun. This was a card that my boss gave to I think all the student workers. I thought it was kind of funny. It's it's obviously the people from Wizard of Oz, Dorothy and the crew, and the guy saying, aren't you kids a little too big for trick-or-treating? And on the inside, it just says, you're never too old to have a happy Halloween. I thought that was really appropriate and really cute for the college kids who work in my office. And my mom sent me a Halloween care package. And one thing she included were these socks, which are pink with black spider webs, and they're sparkly, and they're really awesome. However, I'm pretty sure she got those for me last year because I definitely already have these socks and I love them because they're really cute but I was like mom you must really like those because I'm pretty sure you got them for me last year I just thought that was kind of funny I'd give them to one of you guys but they're you know Halloween socks and they won't get there by Halloween but if you really want them let me know and I'll send them to you and she sent me this shirt it's orange and has a little ghost on it it says trick-or-treat really kind of cute I'll probably wear it on Halloween or you know sometime within the next few days. Another thing that I got from home were these ghost mallows. They're marshmallows shaped like ghosts and they're orange and kind of black and white and they're really cute. It has some ideas for fun uses for them on here. So yeah, ghost mallows. I thought those were super cute. Okay, I just had a few more things I wanted to talk about that aren't Halloween related at all. One of them is that I won a contest recently from TreeJ01, who's a very cool YouTuber. You should definitely check her out. It was just a comment contest, so I was just randomly selected. And my prize for winning that contest was getting a makeup palette. So that should be coming in the mail within the next week or so. So I just wanted to give a shout out to her and thank her. I'll link her channel in the bottom below. You should definitely check her out. She has really cool videos about makeup and fashion and all kinds of fun things. And I know some of you guys found me and subscribed me after that contest. So thank you very much for coming and checking me out after that, and thanks to all my other new subscribers that I got this week. I currently have over 90 subscribers, which is so many to me, but I'm so thankful that you guys want to come and see what I have to say every week, and I really appreciate it, you guys. It makes my day anytime that I see that somebody new has subscribed to my channel, and I love all your all's comments and support. I seriously have the most awesome subscribers ever, so thank you guys so much. Another thing I wanted to mention was that the Urban Decay Naked palettes were briefly available online. I know they sold out really fast, and I did order one from Ulta.com, but it still says my order's processing, so I don't know if I'm actually going to get it or not. I'll be really heartbroken if I don't get it, but, you know, I've been waiting for a while, so it can, it can be my Christmas present. That's okay. But I'm telling you this because I might be getting that palette within the next week or two, so if you guys want a review or want to know anything about that, let me know, and I'll talk about it if and when I get it. Fingers crossed that that actually happens. Also, I wanted to say that next week is the first week of November, so I'll be doing my October favorites then, and I have a lot of things that I'm super excited to talk about, so I think that should be a really fun video, so you guys should look forward to that. That should be up next Friday, hopefully, unless something weird happens in life between now and then. But I just want to say Happy Halloween to all my friends and subscribers. Let me know in the comments below how you guys plan on celebrating and when trick or treat is, what you're dressing up as. Just talk to me about Halloween in the comments. As always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and a happy Halloween weekend. Bye!